Hey guys, welcome to a quick tip with Cliff from WP Cliff Notes. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you very quickly how to style a gravity form with Elementor. So if you're ready, let's get started. Alright, so I have gravity forms installed. It's a paid plugin. If you want to buy it, I will give you a referral link in the description below. So we are going to use Power Pack to style this gravity form. So we will add Power Pack. We'll go to Add New. Install Power Pack. Activate. Then Power Pack has some settings. Now you, it has all these different widgets. I never, all I use is the gravity form widget. So I go in here and turn all these off like so I won't do them all um, because it takes forever and this is a quick video we're gonna go to our home page we're gonna hit edit with Elementor I haven't added Elementor yet so we're gonna hit edit with Elementor then we're gonna look up gravity forms alright we're gonna add it to the to the uh, page it's going to ask you to select a form. I've already created a form. Very simple. And there we go. And this is default styling. So you can turn off the name. You can turn off the description. You can turn off the labels. Um, and then you can just use placeholder text. So you can actually turn off the placeholders, which is kind of nice. You can use Ajax to submit the forms. You can uh, show or hide your uh, display message or validation and everything. To style it, we I'm going to show the uh, labels because I don't have any placeholder text. So we will go here um, to style. We will style the inputs and text area. You can do the spacing if you want to. Um, you can style the padding. I'm gonna leave that at 10. Um, we can do the indent for when you type. See how it's indented? We can do the width. I always put it, I always go to percentage and I always go to 100%. Um, you can do the height. So I always do the default height at 44 just because I think that's a good height for the input. The text area width, I always do 100% as well. Um, the text height, I usually leave it at default. Um, border type, so you can do solid. Change the width and the color. So we could actually use the math default colors if we wanted um, and take this down to one just so it's not so noticeable and we could actually you know change the opacity if we wanted um, border radius so we could change this to five if we wanted to if that's how we're styled you can style the uh, form description um, there's a lot of different things your sections your prices uh, placeholders so you can change the text color so let's say I wanted the text color of these to be orange all right so now that I've got the placeholder um, done I'm gonna do the submit button because I don't have any radio buttons um, so have no pagination and none of this but you can definitely style this if you have it so you can change the width of the button um, I like to have a set width sometimes, it just depends. You can uh, change the, uh, the width, so I'm using a custom width. You can even change it for the different viewport. Um, so I am going to use the background color of orange, I like this orange color. The uh, text color I'm going to make white. and then the margin so margin top 
put it down just a little bit. You can have it left, you can center it, you can have it to the right. It's uh, whatever you like. I usually like to have it to the left. And we can change the typography if we want to, anything. You can change the error message, the progress bar if you had one, the pagination, etc, etc, etc. It's really easy to use PowerPack. Uh, it's one of the better ones out there. Um, there are others out there and I will list them in the description. So I really hope this helped you style your gravity forms. It's a really quick tutorial. If you like this tutorial, uh, my website is wpcliffnotes.com and my YouTube channel is wpcliffnotes on YouTube. So guys, I'm really glad to do this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, and we will be putting out more quick tips with Cliff from WP Cliff News. Thanks guys. Have a blessed day.